Today, we're taking a quick but powerful look at the Linux folder structure, starting right from the root directory. If you've ever wondered what all those folders mean, slash bin, slash etc for example, you are in the right place. When you type cd slash, you're at the root directory, the very top of the Linux file system tree. Typing ls, every file and folder in Linux branches out from here, the foundation of the system. Think of etc as Linux's control center, it holds network settings, startup scripts, user info, and service configurations. Files like slash etc slash password and etc slash hostname live here. The directory slash home is where each user's personal files and settings are stored. For example, slash home slash Kai Loren, as shown on the screen, is my personal space on the system. Slash USR stands for User System Resources. It holds user applications, documentation, and libraries. Basically, most of the software installed on your system is stored here. The slash VAR directory stores variable data that changes frequently, like logs, mail, print queues, and databases. If you check slash var slash log, you'll find all your system logs here. Slash bin contains essential command binaries, basic programs like ls, cp, mv, cat, and ping. These are the tools every user needs, even when the system is in recovery mode. The slash lib directory holds shared libraries, similar to DLL files in Windows. They are needed by programs in slash bin and slash s bin to run properly, and these are shown here. Slash TMP is where temporary files are stored, used by programs during installation or runtime. It's automatically cleared when the system shuts down or you reboot. Slash boot holds files required to start Linux, like the kernel and bootloader. This folder is so important because without slash boot, your system can't even start up. Now the slash dev folder contains device files. Every piece of hardware is represented here, like slash dev slash SDA for hard drives or slash dev slash TTY for terminals. Slash opt is for optional or third-party software, usually programs that aren't part of the default Linux install. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed there are some folders missing. I will produce a more detailed video of Linux in the future, which will include all of these. Thanks for watching this Linux video by G-Man. Stay and watch the next one or watch our playlists. You will learn and progress with us. See you again soon.